Wednesday, January 30th, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a rare sky phenomenon that was filmed in Colorado. Video sent to me yesterday I want to share with you guys and explain to you what it is, or at least my understanding of what this sky phenomenon is. But first, we're here at IntelliCast.com. This can be found at the website, this particular weather map right here under Interactive Weather Map. You click on this and it shows the current temperatures throughout the Midwest and that's what I want to focus on where this polar vortex has uh, dipped way down into the central United States and you can see temperatures right now as I do this video still well below zero. Negative 22 up near Madison, Wisconsin, negative 20 near Chicago, negative 8 near Rushville, Illinois, negative 10 over by Champaign. We've got negative 15 just south of Cedar Rapids up into Minnesota. It's been very cold up there consistently for the last few days. Negative 25, negative 26, negative 20s over into the uh, Dakotas. Got some pictures to share with you guys from Minnesota, from Iowa. Stephen K. from Iowa sent us a picture of his thermometer that showed a negative 36 and that was not the wind chill that was the actual temperature in fact I want to share some pictures that have been sent in by viewers of the phenomenon of the uh, giant halos around the Sun when conditions are super cold and the atmosphere is filled with a lot of ice particulates we will see these big halos on clear days even on cloudy days they'll show up in the sky behind the clouds but on clear days when it's brutally cold like it is right now below zero these halos are quite common. They're very common up in Sweden and Norway. And the conditions right now in the Midwest are even colder than Norway and Sweden get. So the atmosphere is a lot like up in the 50, 60 degree latitudes. So there's the halos. They are starting to show up. And I have received pictures from uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This was sent in by Jessica from today. This was sent in by DK from Lancaster, Wisconsin. They took the picture from inside, which was smart, as the wind chill was minus 52 degrees in Lancaster, Wisconsin. But there's the big halo. And there's also another one sent in by Dorothy from Wyckoff, Minnesota, with a wind chill of minus 56 degrees. And there's the big halo in the background. Here is a thermometer, outdoor thermometer, that's showing negative 36 this was sent in by Steve from Charles City Iowa and this is from today and this is an outdoor thermometer and you can see zero is right here and the old mercury is all the way down here at minus 36 degrees Fahrenheit unbelievable that's a local reading from Charles City Iowa and that was sent in by Stephen in fact Charles City is right here in this green and he said he was out at 4.30 this morning uh, taking his wife to work. And the wind chills were in the minus 50s. In some areas in lower Minnesota, minus 60. Just unprecedented air temperatures. It's happened before. It's very, very rare. Uh, more than likely, it'll happen again sometime in the future. It's not like it's never happened. In fact, it didn't break uh, most of the records. There were some new records set. But it's not like all new records were set, even though it was extremely cold. And this was a very rare event. Um, it did not break all of the records. And also another side effect of the cold temperatures, Holland Freight Company, big company up in the Midwest, totally shut down today. Received a email from a viewer that works for Holland and has worked for Holland for a long time. And they, they are a freight carrier right in the Midwest. There's the map of the service area that they cover. They're a large company. I know most of you have probably probably seen these trucks at some point in time in your travels. They have a lot of trucks that cover a lot of area and they have a lot of hubs. Here's a list of the hubs in the Midwest and they were all closed today due to the inclement weather and the super cold temperatures you see here at IntelliCast.com. So that was a first for that person that works for Holland. They had never seen all their hubs closed down because of cold temperatures. Here's another picture sent in from Jessica out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And that's a inverted 
halo in the sky. It's not on the horizon like the other one she sent in. That one's up in the sky, more vertical above her head. But the halo should be commonplace the next day or two, especially today up in the uh, Midwest as these temperatures remain well below zero. It's going to get cold again tonight. I'm not exactly sure how cold. I'm not sure what the wind chills will be, but the coldest wind chill I heard was up in, I think it was Minnesota, a minus 66, and it could be greater. I'm not sure. I think that's what I heard earlier this morning. I've got to do some research and, and confirm that, but I do think the the coldest I uh, saw or heard of was negative 66 degrees. So if you guys have pictures or halos that you want to share, I always appreciate Sky Phenomenon. You can send those to me at reports at MrMBB333.com. I do get an influx of email from time to time. I apologize in advance if I don't get to your email right away. I do try my best to get through all of the emails and respond accordingly. So thanks in advance for sending them, and I will get to them as soon as possible. I enjoy looking forward to seeing your pictures. Now I want to talk about Krebs secular rays and anti-Krebs secular rays. Some of you may have seen these. It's a phenomenon that when you do see it, it's quite impressive. And it's usually opposite of the sun. That's the case here up near uh, Boulder, Colorado. This was sent in by Jasand, and this was sent in yesterday. He sent in a video as they were driving down the road. And this is the video. I slowed it down, but I wanted to give you the full perspective of what they saw as they were driving down the road. This is off to the east as they're driving north near Boulder, Colorado. And this is a big, beautiful set of anti crep secular rays off to the right as they're driving north. This is in the eastern sky. And this is the passenger in his vehicle. His name's Jasand. They pan to the left, and that is looking west at the sunset, okay, as they're driving north. But this is a phenomenon that is called anti crep secular rays, when they're opposite of the sunset. And they're more common in this capacity in the anti crep secular formation than they are crep secular. At least from my experience, I've gotten quite a few videos and pictures from people from different locations around the world. In fact, I got one that looked identical to this, just north of Boulder, up in the Montana area. But it's a very natural phenomenon. It's a trick of light, so to speak. If you look at where light meets dark on the Earth, that's the termination line. And this is of, uh, actually today, all I did was invert the globe. So you can see when darkness cascades across the globe from right to left, right in here, you'll see sometimes in mountainous regions, doesn't necessarily have to be mountainous regions, you'll see these big high profile beams in the sky look just like that. And they're normally right in front of the darkness as darkness is getting ready to set in and the sun is going down. So when the sun's going down, these are right in front of the darkness. Looks just like that. So that's what they are, guys, in case you've seen them and didn't know what they were. In Jason's case, he had never seen them, and the ones that he saw were quite impressive. Very impressive, in fact. All I did here is switch formats. That's in a x-ray format. This gives a little different look. These are just clouds up here in the sky. Again, this video was taken from Boulder, Colorado, and that's just another format. Actually, that's called a sci-fi format, and I've just kind of adjusted the color and lighting a little bit to try to pull these beams forward. Because that is an exceptional example of anti crep secular rays. And I'll post the link to Wikipedia. Wikipedia is normally a pretty good source of information. It talks about anti crep secular rays and it also talks about crep secular rays. And these are the same thing you see here. Only difference is they're over on the side of the sun. Whether it be sunrise or sunset. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.